Hey guys, so today I have another video for you and I wanted to share with you um, a project that I have completed and have been working on uh, I did yesterday and I also wanted to share with you another one of the lockets that I completed I think I had said in my last video for the um, scrapbooking Queens of 2013 YouTube hop that I was working on another locket for uh, a good friend of mine um, that sells origami owl and I had a lot of questions about what origami owl is and basically origami owl is their little miniature living lockets that you just put different um, little charms in there that represent things that, that you like that may have happened because um, they have charms for like 9-11 and and all they just have all different kinds of charms you can put your birthstones in there um, like mine the one that I'm getting it's gonna have all my uh, kids birthstones and my um, boyfriend's birthstones inside of it um, like a kinda like a Mother's Day ring but only in locket form um, if you have any other questions you know you can google origami owl and it will take you to uh, different websites and tell you all about it but it's really really cool and they're not that expensive. I think the charms are like five dollars a charm, and the lockets range between, uh, I think, twenty something to forty something, maybe. So it's not too bad at all. Um, but anyway, here is the one that I made for my friend who sells origami owl. And on this one, you can see that I used a different owl on the front. And then this uh, tree back here is one of the new Spellbinder Super Ability dies that I used. I'm going to try to be still. And then this is a print and cut that I did using my silhouette. I did use the stamp again that says it's all good. And then this is some um, coordinations gemstone paper from um, Joann's. So that's what the takeout box is. Looks like. <laughs> and then this of course is my little um, handmade stamp um, on the box. So let's see if I can open this one because I've only put it in here I've never opened it back up it was all packaged up and ready to ship out um, but I wanted to show you guys first I just have some white tissue paper on the inside and then let us get to her locket so here is her locket and this one her favorite colors are uh, blue and black and then I added the white and the silver as accent colors and then in this one she wanted it to look like an actual the this is the new um, origami owl locket that's coming out it's in black with the, the stones going all the way around it so she kinda wanted it to simulate the new locket so that's what I did and this does have the rhinestones going all the way around it the stuff is actually sitting on top of the rhinestones but the rhinestones are underneath you can see and then this one is personalized it has some personal photos of her grandkids and her her kids see like up here there's a photo of her grandson and her granddaughter so cute let's see if I can get a little closer and I just made them into flares and then first let me show you this chain I love this chain look at how pretty that chain is it's so super pretty so that's the chain that I use and it's really heavy um, these are some of the charms that are on the chain this one says wish dust and it does have glitter on the inside and it can be opened here is a rose and I believe I got this charm from Anika Anika sorry and then here's another little gem so pretty Here's a gem right here. And then here is a Tim Holtz um, key that says Journey. So that's on the chain. Uh, as far as the design of the, uh, let's move that up a little bit. On the locket, I use the same flower and, I mean, not flower, I use the same butterfly and crown on the last one and the same rolled roses. I use a different uh, swirl on this one. I use a leaf one and I just cut it into pieces and then just tucked it in. And then this flower here is from My Creative Time. It's a dye, a flower dye that she has, which I love. I love this flower. You can see the stitching, her signature stitching is on there. 
and then I just have a pearl and bling in the center here's another little um, resin flower here I have some pearls that I glued sporadically all over some three pearls here I glued a pearl here and there's one there and then there's one tucked in right there I uh, use my Martha Stewart butterfly punch again um, my Martha Stewart I uh, can't think this is like a fern punch and then I use the rolled roses if I didn't say that already and then down here is a cute little picture of her granddaughter with one of the Martha Stewart butterflies and another one of these wooden hearts that I painted and then um, I gessoed it and then stamped it with love and then on the inside you can see the um, words on the inside from the, the Technic Tuesday stamp and then you can see the pictures of her son and her daughter with their kids is on the inside and then different things that she loves like she loves um, taking pictures she loves um, nail polish and all those girly things I have an owl in here to represent origami owl she's a crafter so I have some scissors in here in black there's some scattered pearls in here um, there's a pendant there there's a butterfly um, she loves Paris and uh, so I have a Fleur de Lis in here as well and then there's also an Eiffel Tower right there I think there's a boot in here too there's a heart right there um, I just saw the boot where did the boot go I can't find it. the boots back there so there's the boot it's right back there and then I used some modeling paste and put this butterfly in here I love this butterfly it's from a Martha Stewart stencil and then I have tons of bling she loves bling so there's, there's plenty of bling in here it's bling everywhere and this just moves freely I love the way like this is super cool it just moves around no problems I love it so and then I have this um, little um, crystal looking bead in there but really pretty she's gonna have this on display when she does her parties and stuff so you know different people can look at it um, and get an idea of what uh, locket is and that's it for this one so I hope you guys like this one this one was a whole lot of fun to do I love 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 making these and um, I have a few more that I have to make for customers now um, that saw this one and want one so um, I really really love these. This is super fun and these are very very special um, with the photos, the personalized photos. So really special to have. So I'm thinking of making one of these for Mother's Day for my best friend um, with photos of her kids. So there is that. Let me put this back in the box. Hopefully I have it in there all the way. And we're going to close it back up. And now it is all ready again to be shipped out. So really cute. I love these. Like I said, these are a whole lot of fun. Now the get to the project that I have been working on. Uh here it is and it's pretty big so here's my project <laughs> and I was inspired by um, what is his YouTube channel oh my gosh Amador he had did a crate that he, he found this vintage crate um, when he was um, antiquing or something like that and he did one in a shabby chic uh, colors and, and scheme so I was like, okay, I really wanted to do one, um, but I wanted to try it out at first. And I knew I had this crate as an SVG file. So I knew I was going to make the crate out of paper. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just use it as a desk caddy and make it for my daughter's room. Now you saw the locket that I did in my last video. Those colors that I used, um, as well as using them for spring, they're also the colors that are in my daughter's room. Uh, with her Rapunzel stuff so I wanted to keep in line with that since this will be going on her desk to match the color scheme of her room so first let me show you what's inside the crate and then I will get into more details about the crate so one of the things that I've been seeing all over Pinterest lately is these 
altered mason jars, whether it be spray painted, painted, um, you know, just paper, just all different kinds. And in his crate, he did have a mason jar and he altered his with some paper and flowers and it was super pretty. So I was like, well, let me try that. You know, I've never tried that before. So let me try it. So here is my mason jar. And this is what I did um, first. I just have some pencils in there and these are some pencils that I had left over from Easter um, for her to go in her little caddy but look at how pretty this is super super pretty and this was so much fun to create like I had a blast just spraying the heck out of this thing and painting it and just distressing it um, you do need a file to distress these if you want to bring in the ridges from the uh, decoration in the glass um, to get some of that off and just this is just so cool I had a blast doing this and I let it drip on this side I just thought it was really really cool so I'm gonna do some spray painted ones too this one is um, hand painted and then sprayed I used my dilution sprays the same colors um, that I showed in the last video I um, hand dyed this seam binding with the same colors to match so really really pretty I have this little bling here in the center of the seam binding and then I just took off some of the paint in different spots to give it that vintage type of um, aged look to it so it looks like it's been around for a while and I've also did it on the raised parts on the glass I went over it and took some of the paint off and basically what I did to get this look I gessoed the entire jar I used two coats and then I sprayed the hell out of it with different sprays, um, with the different dilution sprays. So that's basically all I did. I did not paint the bottom. So the bottom's clear. And I did paint the top of the, but I did not paint the inside. All that's clear. And then on the side, <clears throat> my voice went out. I made this little hanging charm thing. Um, I used one of the roses from the flowers from Trico. I used that Martha Stewart fern punch. I sprayed it with the colors. And then the background is a, this is the floor de lis from the new um, Tim Holtz dye. And then I just layered everything on top of it. The flower, the little um, roses, rosebuds, and then this little crystal piece. So, and I did some stamping on it, even though you can't see it all, but it's on there. So really, really pretty. And this came out so pretty. I love the bright colors. So there's my jar for her. Let me fix it back. Okay. So that's how that looks. And then she can just put whatever she wants in it. I just have some pencils in it um, for her. But she can put whatever she wants in it. Now when you do these... If you don't want the paint to, because it can kind of easily just chip off, you can scratch it off. If you don't want that, you can seal these um, with some sealer. I don't plan on sealing this one because as it rubs off, I'm going to redo it because she's going to change her room again next year. So I change my daughter's room every year. But um, So I didn't seal this one because I knew as it rubs off, I'm going to redo it. So I left it as is, but if I wanted to keep this permanent, I would seal this with some spray sealer um, to keep the paint from coming off. So there is the jar. And then, keep this in frame. I also made this book here, and everything is using those same sprays and colors. I use the stack that I've used several times. It's a DCWB paper stack. And it's called the Glam Gal. And it's this one here. These are the colors that I needed. So this is the stack that I chose. And I've used this on several projects. So that's the one that I use. And then I made one of those little mini, um, one of those 3D books that I like to make out of paper. I love making these. I just reduced the size, made it a little smaller, and um, this is the size that I wanted it to be to go inside the crate. I sprayed all over the the book. I used some scintillating silver for the first time. <laughs> I've had that stuff for a while. I don't know why I don't use it, but 
I finally used it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I see why everybody is going crazy over it because the shimmer in it is so pretty. So I'm definitely going to have to stock up on that because normally I use my own spray that I make myself. I didn't feel like making it, so I just grabbed that. And if you can see that, yeah, that's on point right there. That shimmer is really, really pretty. So I use that all over as well. Well, not all over, just on the front. You can see it on the flowers. If the light will you can see it on the rose somewhat you can kind of see it the lights not really picking it up today but it's on there and then on the back my daughter's going to airbrush a butterfly on the back she has this airbrush little Crayola airbrush machine and she wants to airbrush a huge butterfly on the back so I kind of left that plain and I didn't do a spine uh, a layer for the spine I didn't do that so, this rose came from Tamika, so who is Scrap the World, I'm not sure where she got this from. Um, this is a Recollections flower. I used the Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch here. This is a JB stamp, 100% um, princess. And then this is one of my daughter's little things. I don't know where she got it from. She swears I bought her. I bought her those, but I, I couldn't tell you. Um, and this right here is a a um, letter from one of the Hobby Lobby cardstocks. It's one of their glitter letters. So I just put it here since I had cut off the D. And you can still tell it says Dream. And then on the side I have this little pen here. And I just made this little pen holder to keep the pen on. Um, the side of the box. And it's one of the pens that you can get. The gel pens you can get from Staples. And then it opens up. And then I stamped one of the Prima Dolls on top. I also sprayed inside the box and then over here she loves putting pictures on Instagram so I told her she can put one of her favorite pictures that she has on Instagram behind here and I just made this little Instagram tag um, to go with the little Polaroid so and then this is just a sticky note so you can see the color on the inside really pretty and then this is just a sticky note um, notepad that she can put some little messages on I only stamped the top layer so she told me she told me I have to get her a stamp so she can stamp them all. <laughs> and so we'll see. So and that just fits in there like so. So really cute, really cute. Wow, really cute. This is a great project for a little girl. And then that just fits right back in. Well, let me show you the crate first. So we're gonna put that there. Now this crate, this is an SVG file that I have from SVG Cuts. And it's from the Caramel Something collection um, from their kit. But if you go to their website, svgcuts.com, <clears throat> excuse me, and type in crate, then it will come up and you'll see where it is. But I, first I put the crate together and I used white cardstock. Um, I knew I wasn't going to gesso this whole thing once I put it together, so I just chose to use white cardstock. And then after I put it together, I took this, and this is pretty big. This crate is pretty big. Like, let's see. So it's almost eight inches wide and about four and three quarters um, deep, and then almost five inches tall. So it's pretty big crate. And then after that, after I put it together, I went to town spraying it with the different colors. And I used, like I said, I used the dilution sprays. I used the, the same three or four dilution sprays that I used um, on everything. The bubblegum pink, the crushed grape, uh, the white linen, and I want to say the turquoise blue. Those are the colors that I used. I, after I did that, I sprayed the inside. Like everything is sprayed. Here's the back. I even sprayed the bottom. Everything is sprayed. And then once I did that, I took some of the paper from the paper collection, the um, Glam Gal paper collection, and I even sprayed that so it kind of blended in with the box. And I used the paper that had all the colors in it. So there's the side. And then there's that side. And then I also used the butterfly um, on here, the modeling paste, 
and the butterfly, my favorite little butterfly. She loves butterflies, so I knew I had to put that on here. I did one there and one up top. And then down here, I just have this cluster of flowers. I used the Martha Stewart, um, the Big Monarch Butterfly Punch um, right there, and that's been sprayed. I used another one of those Recollection flowers, some stamen that I believe I got from I Am Roses, and I just used the whole bunches on the inside. These are some flowers that I got from my Nika, these blue ones here, and up here. And then I think I got this one from my Nika too. You can see the the um, glitter, the scintillating silver on the flowers, so pretty. And then down here I have some white cherry blossoms tucked in there. And then this stick pin, I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was from D-Love or, um, gosh, I can't remember, but I think that might have been her, but I'm not totally sure from the swap that I did with Scrap the World, the um, embellishment, no, no, not the embellishment swap, but the other one, the gift, gift thing swap <laughs> I can't remember but I got that in that where you did the laces and the stick pins and the handmade flower yeah that was one and then I just have this pearl trim or um, this pearl what is this uh, pearl embellishment I just say embellishment in the back here or spray that's what it is so and then I have another JB stamp that says princess and then in the back back there is a little Hello Kitty flare where she's taking a picture so this is really pretty she she's like she's so ecstatic about all the stuff I've been making her lately <laughs> to say the least and she's ready to get it she's like you have to have that video done by the time I get home from school so okay <laughs> so there is my crate and then everything just goes back in here and she can just set it up and put it on her desk And I just thought this was so cute to make for a little girl. Like, you know, to have their own little, like, keepsake um, crate. So, I want to thank everyone for watching my video. I, got, it's, I really hope you enjoyed my projects that I just shared with you. Um, stay tuned. I may get another project video out. I'm not sure before I announce the giveaway. I'm not sure. School, like I said, I'm trying to balance everything and plan what we're going to be doing this summer um, with the kids because we go on a few trips each summer but um anyway so i hope you guys like this i hope you guys are inspired to give this a try this is a lot of fun i want to try a shabby chic one i'm so i don't know me and shabby chic are just it's it's hard for me so <laughs> i don't know why i can't do the pastel colors and i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna try but um i want to do one with shabby chic colors and a mason jar um, done up with lace and all that stuff so um, I hope you guys give it a try this mason jar was super fun you can get mason jars from uh, I know you can get them from Hobby Lobby um, but I believe most of the craft stores carry them so like I said um, Amador um, I want I'm a new subby to you and I want to thank you for inspiring me to create this and you guys have a good day all right guys bye